Drowning is the number one cause of death for children with autism. We're here to save lives. Children with autism are 160 times more likely to experience drowning compared to their peers. That's according to the Autism Society. One couple in the low country is trying to change those statistics through swim lessons. Conley Grayson shows us how they make sure no kid feels like a fish out of water. Conley. Kitty Tessa Tara Gurch ran an aquatics program in Maryland, and when she noticed children with special needs and disabilities needed individual attention during lessons, that inspired Tara and her husband to start Martar Swim School in 1999. The couple are now helping low country kids learn how to swim at their own pace. A splash of innovation. One, two, three, under. Good. Martar Swim School wants every child to dive into the joy of swimming. There is water everywhere in the low country. Of the 100 lessons a week, each one is crafted to meet the individual needs of the swimmer. He loves the water, so we knew that we needed to um, find someone who could teach him and his unique learning abilities. Seven-year-old Graydon Glass is on the autism spectrum. It's his second summer at Martar Swim School. I just want to know that if he were not with us, or he was in, we were at a big event with a bunch of kids that if he fell in the pool or accidentally pushed into the pool that he could bring himself up, swim to the side safely without any drowning. Meanwhile, three-year-old Reese is learning how to stay afloat. She's a really good listener. She is working on getting her face in the pool. They have to experience water on their face so that they fall in. They don't hold their nose instead of paddling their arms to go back to the wall. Their mothers thrilled with the program's success. We are jumping off the side, swimming to the side with no use of any swimmies or any kind of devices. And the kids? Yes! Buoyed by the support. You can swim better? Tara believes swimming is a life skill, and she is pushing for legislation to make lessons mandatory. Whether we can find a way to do it in the schools, whether we can become a part of a program that the parents bring their kids to, that's mandatory, things like that. Parents say with every stroke, they see the ripple effects. <laughs> it is the highlight of his week. Really doesn't want to get out of the pool when it's over. Martar Swim School uses a variety of modifications and techniques, including visual aids and sign language. To find more information or to sign up for a lesson, visit our website, abcnews4.com, and look for this story. Working for you, Conley Grayson, News 4.